Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And oh my goodness, does this ever look like the GED style? We've got a word problem with a table and a ton of information we need to interpret. Let's go ahead and figure this out. It says a hotel chain is purchasing mattresses wholesale for a hotel they are renovating. They decide to go with the mid-grade model Sleeprite and purchase 60 queen beds or queen size beds and 30 king sized beds. If the mattress company offers a 15% discount for bulk hotel orders, what will be the cost of the order before tax? Okay, now as par for the course with these kind of standardized tests, I've been given like a lot of information here. And it's really important that before I get started, I just know my goal. And so I always ask my students, paraphrase the question, uh, put it into your own words. So let's come down here and I'm going to look at just the question part. They're asking me to find, they said, what will be the cost of the order before tax? So I don't need to include tax, but I am looking for the cost of my orders. So definitely that has something to do with the total order, but that's not the only thing going on in the cost of my order. Oh, as I read through this problem, I saw that I was buying some beds, but besides that, I was going to get a discount. So, you know, I don't have to pay the discount. So if I talk about the cost of my order, I'm going to be talking about the total order less the discount. I hope that makes sense, the total order less the discount, and now that I have that in mind, it kind of gives me a plan right from the start of where to go. I'm going to start with finding the total order, then I'll figure out the discount, and then I'll take that discount off my total order. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out the total order. What are we ordering? Well, looks like we're going to purchase uh, 60 queen-sized beds. And if I come down here to queen-sized beds, I see I have a lot of options. So which option should I look at? Well, the problem said we were going to go with the mm, mid-grade model, sleep right. So let's see. Sleep right in a queen size is going to cost me $449. Ah, but I'm not just buying one of those beds. I'm buying 60 of those beds. I'm going to end up paying $449. 60 times. That'll be the price for the first bed, the second bed, the third bed, and so on and so forth. And so $449, 60 times, I need to multiply. That's why we call a multiplication symbol a times sign. So 449 times 60 tells me that for my queen mattresses, I'm looking already at $26,940, Oof. and that's just for the queens. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the kings. For the kings, I'm going to buy some 30 king size beds. Still in the sleep right model, a king bed's costing me $4.99. $4.99, and I'm going to buy that 30 times, so I'm buying 30 of them, so I'm going to pay $4.99 30 times. I'm going to multiply. $4.99 times 30, and I'm going really slow in my calculator this time because I keep making stupid calculator errors with my fat fingers. And students hate it when they do that too. It's like, oh, I did all the hard math right and I did the calculator wrong. <laughs> so I got $14,970. Okay, so now what? Well, there was the price for all my queens. There's the price for all my kings, I'm going to have to pay for both of those. I'm going to need to total them. I'm going to need to add those two numbers. Once again, I don't want to make a stupid er calculator error. So I'm just going to arrow up to the first number in my calculator, the 26940, and press enter. That will retype it on the screen. And then I'll press plus the cost of the king mattresses. So I'll arrow up to 14970 and press enter again and then enter, and it tells me that the total of those, if I add those two together, is $41,910. Great. So we did the first thing we said we'd do. We found our total order. This is our total order. However, yay, lucky us, we don't have to pay for the total order. We get a discount. Um, we're a hotel chain, and it says they give 15% discounts for bulk hotel orders. Now, don't be the student who just takes 15 cents off. <laughs> I want to take 15 percent off. That means whenever you say percent, a percent is a piece or a portion of a number. So when I go to 
let's see, where shall I write this? Let's come over here to the right hand side. When I go to talk about the discount, it's not enough just to say 15%. You have to ask yourself 15% of what? Well, of course, it'll be 15% of the cost of the order. You know, that's how they uh, do discounts. They take off a 15% or a portion of the money that you're paying. So now there's 15% of the money I'm paying. Now you might be wondering, well, how am I supposed to find that? Well, your calculator can actually find this as long as you know what of means. You can type in 15, you can type in percent in your calculator, but you have to know that of means multiply. And it does, it feels wrong to students. A lot of students think of should mean divide. But no, to scale something, whether you're scaling it larger or smaller, is an act of multiplication. So I do 15% times 41910. And for those of you who don't know how to type percent into your TI, you're going to type the, four, the 15 first. And then to get the percent, the percent sign's in green, so you're going to need to hit the second. Ooh. What did I do wrong? Okay, look, I get to do it again. Lucky me. 15% of 41,910. Okay, so you're going to type in 15, and then the second button, because percent's in green, and you're going to see that little percent key in green above the open parentheses. So 15% um, and then you just use, uh, you can use a parentheses or a regular time sign. It won't matter in this case. Times uh, 41,910. And I press enter there and I find out that my discount is 6,286.50. Now notice what I said. I said that was my discount, my discount. Why is that my discount? Well, because I said my discount was 15%. And that's one of the reasons why it's really important to like label your work and to know where you're going. I wasn't asked to find the discount. I was asked to find the cost of the order. So I need the total order less the discount. I need to take my total order that I found. That was 41,910. We found it on the left-hand side. And less the discount. I need to take off the discount. And here's the discount I found, 6000 bucks. Well, how do you take something off? Huh, subtraction. So I'll arrow up to uh, this number in my calculator, 41910 Press Enter. Then I'll subtract. And I'll arrow up to the discount that I found in my calculator, 6286.50. And subtracting that, I get 3563.5. And I'm sorry if I've been throwing you that I keep saying 0.50 when it doesn't say 0.50 what I'm writing down or what you have in your calculator. It says 0.5. But what I realize is that this 5 is in the tenths place, like a dime. A dime is a tenth of a dollar. So 5 dimes would be worth 50 cents. I can just add a zero in the hundredths place, like I have no pennies. And, uh, and it looks like money to me. So that's $35,623.50. Uh, and luckily, <laughs> we don't have to compute tax. They wanted the amount before tax. So we are done. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.